guys, in this tip of the week, we're gonna talk about the introduction to the practice pad and why it's important for drumming. Last week, I ended up hurting my finger playing basketball, I ended up breaking my pinky, which is a bummer, but I still wanna practice drumming and I still wanna get better at drumming. So today, we're gonna talk about using the practice pad and putting an emphasis on your weak hand or your off hand, in my case, it's my left hand. So today, we're gonna practice all left hand. You just need two things. Get yourself a pad. This is the Evans Real Feel Pad. It goes for about $25 on Amazon. And I definitely recommend getting a snare stand. So every snare stand is gonna be pretty much the same. It's gonna have this little basket here that you can adjust with your hands. So go ahead and use this little wrench here to get the tension right so that it just holds your practice pad just like a little basket. And just turn it towards you so that it's facing you and it's nice and level. It's parallel with your hips. Do you want to basically just be able to sit right inside of it like this? So first thing is posture. So my back is straight up and down. My shoulders are straight uh, and my elbows are in. So you want it to be as natural as possible. We're not putting any stress on our joints. We're not putting, holding any tension in our neck or shoulders. We wanna just have a nice, easy, free-flowing stroke that goes from 12 o'clock straight up down to the pad. And we're gonna be parallel to the pad. And just start doing this Play quarter notes, play whatever speed is good for you, and just start to get the blood flowing. We're just going to warm up our hands. Okay, next we're going to do a downstroke and a rebound stroke. So downstroke is from 12 o'clock down to the pad, and so you're actually swinging the stick, and you're catching the bounce. Second stroke is the rebound stroke, which is from this height. So, so you're not actually throwing the stick again, you're just letting it bounce. So, to count that, you can play it as an eighth note, which would be one and two and three. Just start out playing quarter notes. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that feels comfortable, just start to alternate between the two. So we'll play quarter notes, and then we'll play eighth notes, and then back to quarter notes, and so on. So that would look like this. One, two, three, four. So that would be one, 